Across the modern battlefield, one machine stands as the ultimate symbol of American armored dominance, the M1 series of main battle tanks. From the early prototypes in the 1970s to the legendary M1A2 Abrams, these tanks have carved their reputation in steel, firepower, and survivability. But beyond the models we already know, there exists a fascinating, lesser-known chapter in this story, the experimental designs, the prototypes, and the secret projects that paved the way for the Abrams family. One such design is the M1E7, an advanced prototype program that represented a critical step in the evolution of the American tank. It was not just another tank, it was an engineering experiment, a bridge between older concepts and future technology. In today's video, we'll dive deep into the story of the United States M1E7 tank, exploring its origins, its technical innovations, its role in the Abrams development program, and why it still matters today. So buckle up, because we're about to roll into a world of cutting-edge engineering, Cold War strategy, and the relentless American pursuit of battlefield superiority. Dash dash dash. Section 1 Historical Background Approximately 500 Words Cold War Context 1970s-1980s, NATO vs. Warsaw Pact U.S. Tanks Before Abrams M60 Patton Series, good but falling behind Soviet designs like the T-64 and T-72 Need for a Next Generation Tank XM-1 Program Right Pointing Arrow Led to Abrams Experimental E. Versions Engineering Testbeds M1E7's Role focused on advanced survivability, new fire control, and mobility upgrades. Dash dash dash, Section 2 Development of the M1E7, approximately, 600 words. Official designation, M1 times 10 to the 7 inch explained. Built as part of continuous improvement cycle for Abrams, engineers wanted to solve key problems. Weight versus mobility, survivability against next-gen Soviet ATGMs, night fighting capabilities, integration of new armor packages, including advanced composites, testing at Aberdeen Proving Grounds and Yuma Proving Ground, political and budget factors, Congress versus Pentagon debates, ultimately not mass-produced, but laid groundwork for later Abrams upgrades. Dash dash dash, Section 3 Technical Specifications, approximately, 1,000 words, Armor and survivability, Chobum-based composite armor, experimental depleted uranium layers, blow-off panels for ammo storage, NBC nuclear, biological, chemical, protection system, firepower, 105mm M68 gun initially, trials for 120mm Rheinmetall smoothbore, advanced fire control computer, thermal imaging sites for commander and gunner, mobility, Honeywell AGT 1500 gas turbine engine, 1500 horsepower. Suspension upgrades for better cross-country performance. Top speed around 45 miles per hour. Range, approximately 300 miles. Electronics and systems, laser rangefinders, ballistic computer, infrared night vision, communications, encrypted radios, dash dash dash, section 4 combat role and doctrine, approximately 300 words. Designed for, shock action, in European theater. Coordination with mechanized infantry and air support. Countering Soviet armored thrusts in Germany. Part of airland battle doctrine. Dash dash dash, section 5 comparisons, approximately. 400 words. Compare M1E7 with. M1 Abrams production version, similarities, differences. German Leopard 2 mobility versus firepower trade-offs. Soviet T-72 and T-80 armor and survivability comparisons. Japanese Type 90 and Type 10 lessons in lighter design. Dash dash dash. Section 6 Strengths and Weaknesses, approximately. 300 words. Strengths. Survivability, advanced tech, mobility. Weaknesses. Cost, maintenance, fuel consumption, complexity. Why it was never mass produced but contributed to later designs. Dash dash dash. Section 7 Legacy and Future Prospects, approximately. 350 words. How M1E7 informed Abrams upgrades, M1A1, M1A2, SEPV3, SEPV4. Influence on active protection sys. Across the modern battlefield, one machine stands as the ultimate symbol of American armored dominance, the M1 series of main battle tanks. From the early prototypes in the 1970s to the legendary M1A2 Abrams, these tanks have carved their reputation in steel, firepower, and survivability. But beyond the models we already know, there exists a fascinating, lesser-known chapter in this story, 
the experimental designs, the prototypes, and the secret projects that paved the way for the Abrams family. One such design is the M1E7, an advanced prototype program that represented a critical step in the evolution of the American tank. It was not just another tank, it was an engineering experiment, a bridge between older concepts and future technology. In today's video, we'll dive deep into the story of the United States M1E7 tank, exploring its origins, its technical innovations, its role in the Abrams development program, and why it still matters today. So buckle up, because we're about to roll into a world of cutting-edge engineering, Cold War strategy, and the relentless American pursuit of battlefield superiority. Dash dash dash, section 1 historical background, approximately, 500 words, Cold War context, 1970s 1980s, NATO vs Warsaw Pact, 